Dante's Inferno is dark. It has a dark beauty to it, but it's always disturbing. Like, I recognize a human person there, but their sins have kind of twisted who they are or turned them into an abomination. It doesn't just contain tormented souls, but it's actually made up of tormented souls. Everything about Dante's Inferno is about torment. In Lust, the tormented souls are uh, their lovers searching for each other. They're denied each other and that's their punishment. Reaching out to each other but never able to touch. They're downed, right? So you get a sense of sort of the solitude uh, suffering. It's kind of out in this ocean of, of loneliness surrounded by this weather storm of people. It's kind of like if you picture a hurricane combined with a tornado with bodies just writhing and swirling. Inside you can just see this orgy of bodies in there. There's this whole sexual overtone. But it's, it's really disturbing and, and repulsive at the same time that it's kind of compelling. I want the environments to reflect, you know, those sins, the sins of the flesh, and, um, and also to reflect kind of a personal hell. As sort of seductive as, you know, all those images that you have when you say the word lust, it's actually pretty violent. <laughs> We did have some excellent people from the outside the company, some brilliant artists, work with us to give us a little influence. Wayne especially, he's been working with the Inferno theme for a very long time. Nobody draws and knows hell like Wayne Barlow. If you're familiar with the Guillermo del Toro movies, he's got great sort of preacher concept. People have seen it in Hellboy and seen it in Harry Potter. He's been drawing hell for, you know, over a decade. He's got his own series of paintings that are called Barlow's Inferno, and uh, his images are just stunning and uh, imaginative and twisted and weird. Cleopatra is kind of the monster boss character of Lush. We had some early concepts that were just, like, so weird. Sex organs all over her body and her fingers and her face. And Wayne Barlow was, took a crack at her, and he took that quite literally. And uh, that was, like, a really creative and fun exercise, but ultimately not a character that I think you know, would have served the game. <laughs> Disturbing is the watchword. Um, brutal is the watchword. The world is being beautifully rendered, but is always disturbing. You know, it sounds easy, like, oh, cool, we'll do a level based on, you know, around violence. You know, we'll do a level based around lust. Like, that'll be easy. But then you sit down to do it, and you really struggle to, to push the boundaries. You can be totally gratuitous and really kind of like silly about it and really pornographic about it. You know, let's just hang a huge penis out there and, you know, call it a day. You can also make it um, kind of interesting, thoughtful, and provocative. I probably have 200 pictures of intestines on my machine. Uh, pictures of defecation, bodies cut in half. It's, again, supposed to be a very disturbing game and our source material and reference material is equally as disturbing. There have been some emails sent out that... that... Oh.